how are you doing i hope you're doing great my name is maya okoth i'm an interior designer an actress and a mom it's been a minute hey it's been a minute but i'm back guys i'm back thank you for stopping for another video to my returning subscribers and for those of you who are here for the first time karibuni sana don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel leave a comment and also share this incredible video today i want to take you through steps of how you can upgrade your home and make your home look expensive or feel expensive by such a very very low budget when you visit a rich friends or rich relatives or someone just you know who lives in the suburbs they definitely most of them let me not say all of them most of them have expensive houses you enter the house una to wow mm? or the big big hotels that you know of worry not because you don't have to reach that level for you to experience that even in your own space i'm going to give you 10 tricks of how you can achieve that where you are at the moment so the very first tip is to work on your walls let me tell you once you paint your walls you're going to see the magic that's where the magic is when you paint your walls it really elevates your room so most rentals tend to have this cream color that most landlord yellowish color most landlords use and it's quite quite hard when you're trying to style your house you're trying to get furnish your house but when you use white and neutrals if you paint your walls to whites or choose to have neutrals i'm telling you your game is going to change this is going to make furnishing very very easy you are going to have the color of seats that you want you're going to have the color of carpets that you want you're going to have a very wide range of options when it comes to color in your house and even style in your house you can choose any style for those of you who are uh, familiar with interior styles you are going to choose any style any design style that you want and that's the first step where you start from change your walls not until you are comfortable with design styles that you can use bold colors like the one that you're seeing on my background <laughs> second rule is styling definitely styling is going to make your home look different what do i mean by styling this is when you come in with the vases with incredible flowers be it artificial or natural the people who like traveling and collecting things when they travel i'm talking about all of that be it wall mounts be it artwork and also you have different kind of pillows you can have throw blankets that's also part of styling so if you're going to style your home it is definitely going to upgrade your home and as you can see from these pictures that and put little effort if not a lot of effort when it comes to styling the third thing that is going to elevate your home is choice of furniture and how you are going to lay out your furniture what do i mean by furniture layout i mean how you arrange your furniture in your house there are houses where, where you walk in and you find the chairs are on the extreme corners and the room is quite big so it leaves a very awkward and big gap. You're supposed to understand your space and know how to arrange your space. If you have a big space, you know how to arrange it like so. If you have a small space, you know how to arrange your furniture like so. This also applies to the bedroom. Any of us tend to push our beds to the extreme corner. It just tends to make the bed look isolated from the rest of the room and whatever else is going on like uh, wallpaper or carpet inside the room is not marrying with the bed that is pushed at the corner so i'm going i know i know i know most of you are going to say that oh my room is not too big for even if it's not too big don't put it at the extreme corner just have a few centimeters off the wall and you'll see the difference third thing is definitely cables 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 <sighs> many of our houses have naked cables especially at the tv area most of us have cables running around it is just messy it takes away the little lacks that you'd want to have in your house 
other than having this incredible wire cover as you see here they have covered the wires and it is very neat trust me when you organize your home you're one step away from making your home look expensive the other point is declutter if you have toys keep on putting them away have baskets where you can put your toys after your babies finish playing for example you have kids and your kids have been playing if toys are all over your house no offense i understand but just try and keep them off as much as you can and also this mostly applies to the kitchen and uh, the bathroom if you have bought detergent or soap or toothpaste let me tell you if you have those different packages with different color and different branding and different sizes different materials they just tend to create a whole mix and match color confusion going on that takes away the glam from your home so what i advise is that you buy these incredible jars that are in our markets and uh, you can even go a step ahead and label them another point is light fixtures lights that come with the houses i'm talking about rentals they are blank and plain and basic but when you go and get incredible lighting chandelier or sconces another thing to elevate your home and make your home look expensive is to steam your curtains and your beddings if you have creased curtains and creased beddings it's going to look like you have a cheap home but if you steam those curtains and beddings all the time they're going to give your house a very luxurious feel so that is it guys for today i hope you have learned something and i hope you're going to implement this in your homes and trust me if you follow whatever i have told you you are going to love the look of your home you're going to love the upgrade your home is going to have trust me people are going to come to your house and notice those little details that i have talked about so if you have liked this video kindly give it a thumbs up leave a comment and also share to everyone who you think needs this sentiment until I see you again, bye!